What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the Air Jordan 1 for CD Red. And before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's know I'm going to write the rest of the show you guys you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me. And you guys with news videos coming ahead of time, follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So these did actually drop today. Yes, it is a woman exclusive. Uh, retail on this is 170. I did go with a size 11 on here. This is this does come in women's sizes because once again, this is a woman exclusive. So I went with a size 11. Normally, I'm a nine and a half or like to get nine and a half in all my shoes. I am a true size nine. So I went up to an 11 and uh, you just go 1.5 up from whatever you wear to find your women's sizes. Now, um, with this shoe, I will say that, you know, it does come in a women's box and normally we do get the red and the black with the women's box but the air jordan 185 uh georgetown also came in the same exact box and i'm gonna get back to that but uh anyway we open up the box here and we get a stamp on the inside of the box right there with a swoosh black swoosh on top of that we do get some regular tissue paper inside of these and then we get this really beautiful air jordan one varsity red now there are other air jordan ones called the varsity red i don't know why they didn't stick with the name chanel or the nostalgia but um i really think this is a dope color and i love you know what i mean that rug material on the swoosh you know that material that we see on the swoosh right there really reminds me of the lily mays so i really do love that touch on these now um back to what i was telling you guys before uh when i tried these on in store i did try to actually get the size 10.5 which would be a size 9 in my size and the reason for that being is because um women's shoes normally run a little bit big now when i tried the 9 on in store or the size 10.5 um it felt a little bit tight like on the outsides of the foot area like right here and um i was like you know that normally doesn't happen like it wouldn't be that tight like something it might be like just fitting but it, the way the shoe was molded, you know what I mean? It made me start to think like, yo, we basically are getting a 85 Georgetown, which is on a different colorway. Now, that was the reason why I did go up half a size. And I normally do like to go up half a size anyway, but since it was a woman's shoe, I wanted to go down a half a size, you know what I mean? To just try it out, which I will be showing you guys later on in the review. But, um, so this is the reason why I think that we got an Air Jordan 585. We get the same box here, the same amount of space. And this is a size nine, this is a size 11. Okay, the boxes are damn near the same. Um, and then I bring out the 85 right here. And if you guys look at the back right here, same color gray on the back of the shoes right here. Okay, um, if you guys look at the shaping of the back of the shoe, I did wear this like once or twice. But as you guys can see, uh, the shaping on the back of the shoe is the same. We just don't get the taller tongue. Okay, they're basically the same height. If you guys look at the front of the toe box, we both get that narrow toe box in the front of the shoe, as you guys can see right here. Different coloring, but same material, as you guys can see that really close. So basically we're getting an 85 high Jordan 1 Varsity Red instead of a, you know what I mean, Georgetown colorway, in my opinion. Okay, now when you guys look at what I'm talking about right here, as you guys can see, the two to the right look damn near identical, but then the one to the left just looks a little bit more bigger. You guys can see this one is more like an oval this one is more so sharper if you guys see that right there now if you guys look at the stitching right there the stitching is also different on this one than it is compared to these two you see how the stitching is damn near identical on that as well now when it comes to the peaks right here see how the peaks right here come down and the peaks on this one come down as well this one comes out more extended like more forward sticking up but if that was on this shoe this shoe would look exactly the same as the right shoe so if you guys look right here this is my next big thing you see how like big this is right here this area is more tighter same thing with this one even though the extender pieces are down and it's not up like this one here see how it's just more tighter in this area like if you look right there this looks way different than on this shoe so i'm gonna back it up so you guys can see that now you see the see the differences here boom to boom that's a way bigger difference you know what i mean so way different cut right there now this cut looks the same as this cut you guys look at that now if i put all three in the picture you guys are seeing what i'm saying right there so do not sleep on this shoe guys i'm telling you guys right now if you guys look at these two shoes and then you look at all four of them you can definitely tell that these two look similar there's no way you can you cannot tell that the shoes to the right the two shoes to the right look more similar than the shoes to the left so in my opinion 
you know what i mean they gave us like that 85 cut if you guys can see that really well on these i have four pair of air jordan ones right here and you guys can really see the cut difference even like the back see how much skinnier it is the two to the right to the two to the left you know um let me know what you guys think about this though let me know in the comments box below and from the top look how much thicker and how much wider the cut is you know what I mean? So we get a different cut on these shoes, more so like the 85 high Georgetowns in my opinion. And I think that's why I felt a little bit tight. Now, um, if I would have never tried that on, I probably wouldn't have never caught on to this until I actually like looked at the shoe. But if you guys just look at the 85 and look at the Varsity Red that came out, it's basically the same shoe, just a different tone, same materials and everything. So, you know, we're getting a good quality Air Jordan 1 here. Um, do not sleep on this shoe. A lot of people are sleeping on this shoe. The market is sleeping on this shoe. Uh, and this is the probably the best time to actually cop this shoe right here. I just wanted to point that out to you guys before I started the review. Um, make sure you guys grab these up right now. Do not sleep on it. 170, you cannot beat it. Let's get right into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this Varsity Red. All right, pretty nice in my opinion. With the Nike and the swoosh down there in the middle. You see here the outsole on the outside and on the inside is done in like a cream colorway. And then also we get some cream stitching in there as well so that's a pretty nice touch you guys can really tell the difference in the white from the bottom then the top right there we get this varsity red on the outer panels and then right there in the main back panel right there we get that white leather okay and on top of that we get like that rug nostalgia chanel varsity red on the swoosh right there pretty fire in my opinion white cloth in the background of that as well now, um, when I was putting the laces in these, I did notice that the red did get on the laces. So, you know, they do drip and dye on the laces. Also, I do see a little bit of red on the background of that white cloth right there, but it's okay, in my opinion. Uh, the leather quality is pretty good on these, in my opinion, you know, but you still will need some wearable shoe trees on these. But anyway, show you guys the inside of the shoe here, same thing. Towards the toe box here, we do get this white leather on the toe box. Now you will need some wearable shoe trees in these once again because these will crease up pretty easily. All right, and on the mud guard, right there we get that varsity red as well. Coming up towards the lace panels here, we get that red on the lace panels as well again. Okay, and if you guys look right before we get to the taller part of the ankles, we get a little bit of gray under, and then we get some red on the insides. And then coming towards the outside, we get the Air Jordan logo. Okay, and then we get some more of that gray on the upper part of the ankle and right there before we get lower than the ankle. Okay, we do get this corduroy like material on the tongue right here. Now the tongue is not as tall as the Georgetown 85, but you know, it is like a normal height, but I do like the corduroy tongue on this shoe. I think it really helps the shoe stand out a lot more and it's in like a gray corduroy. And at the top of the tongue here, it's gray in the background. And then the Nike Air is in red right there. Okay pretty fire in my opinion now we do also get two pair of laces with these they come standard with the red laces but as you guys can see in the right shoe i have like this white and cream kind of lace we really do love also how the shoes look with like that cream and white laces it really does make the shoe pop more in my opinion more than the red you know what i mean so uh pretty dope in my opinion also they come in this lace bag with the jordan logo on it okay and on the other side here they come with a hang tag, which is covered up because it has like that rug like material on the other side. Okay, take that off for you guys and show you. Open it up. And this is what it looks like right here. It comes with like a little plastic, which is pretty nice. And it says Nike Air on there. Pretty dope in my opinion. All right, show you guys the back too. All right, now coming towards the inside of the shoe here, we do get some cardboard inserts. All right, and on the inside of the shoe, it is gray sock lining and everything like that take out the insole here for you guys if i can all right and on the insole here it is gray as well and then it says nike air in red and then it tells us that the fur on this is fake inside of there as well so we get a sticker in there telling us that this is fake okay now coming to the back of the shoes all right we get that gray leather on the back of the shoes right there okay then it goes down to the red all right white goes down to like that fuzzy rug and then it goes back down to the red right there. And you guys can really see like that 85 cut that we get on the back of these once again. Pretty fire in my opinion. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. You guys cannot tell me that these do not 
look like some 85s but just in a different colorway but anyway um now i'm a true size now i'm only get nine and a half in all my shoes except for 450s and 350s i believe you need to go full size up on those but women's shoes i like to go true to size because normally they run a little bit big now when i had got these once again they had that more narrow cut so when i tried on the size nine which i will be showing you guys right now um I was just a little bit tight in the upper part right here. You see where I'm pushing down my hand and things like that on the upper part in that video. It, it was a little bit of space there, but you know what I mean? It was just fitting and I don't like that. And then when it came towards the outsides right there, where you see me touching, uh, it was very tight. Like I feel like, you know what I mean? Before I even walked in them, that that was going to start to bother me a little bit. So I had to go up a half a size like I normally do with the Air Jordan ones. And also I like to put shoe protectors in them because, you know, I don't want my shoes to get creased up. So like on this shoe right here, these will crease up pretty easily. But I'm showing you guys my foot is in the toe box right here. Big toe is right here. So I have a lot more wiggle room in here. You know what I mean? A lot more. And as you guys see, it's not that much space. Okay, now when I come right here towards the bunions on the outside and on the insides here, my foot is on the material. So it's not going in like, you know, if I push back here, you see how the material will go in, then it touches my foot. So it is pretty flush right there, but it's enough space for my foot to be comfortable. And I feel like if I was to put a piece inside of there, my foot would still be comfortable. Now this is on the unlaced pair. So on the laced up pair, it is a little bit more tighter down here. And uh, as you guys can see, I still have a little bit of that space in there as I, got, as I was showing you guys on the other foot. Now... My foot doesn't come out the back just like how it didn't on the video on the other one. So, you know what I mean? This is a perfect size. I feel like half a size up on these is the way to go. But if you like a close fit, do go true size. But definitely, if you have a wider foot, go up half a size. But um, I'm going to show you guys with these like some different pants options right now. Okay, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.